I have a short piece of this uh, on purpose. This is a watchdog event. This is not a Montana Policy Institute event. I am very proud, though, that Montana Policy Institute is the publisher or the sponsor of Montana Watchdog. But there are two very different organizations with two very different missions and two very different functions. Uh, definitely complementary, but separate as well, and that's by design. Uh, the, uh, first, I'd like to, um, if you see uh, the, folk, the gals out there, Susan Getz and Dion Carpenter are helping us with registration, and Mary Beveridge, uh, they're helping us with logistics on this a lot. If you get a chance, just say thank you for us, uh, for them, or to them, uh, just so that we can uh, uh, recognize our volunteers and, and the people who really help make these things happen. So we'll do that. So anyway, Watchdog, we're at MPI, Montana Policy Institute. Uh, we're in the information business. We want, we believe that a participatory democracy requires an informed public. Now, what we do with that information, we're going to argue about. We're going to differ over policy recommendations. We're going to argue over what it means. But we want more information. We believe more information is good. Now, at MPI, we come to that, we come at that with an agenda, a very clear agenda, and one that we're not, that we're very proud of. Limited government, individual rights, individual responsibility, fiscal responsibility, things like that. That stops at the watchdog door. Watchdog is in the business of disseminating information in a new way via the web and also through a network of newspapers around the state, several dozen newspapers around the state that regularly cover our content or watchdog content, as well as the website, which probably gets as many hits as most newspapers in the state, certainly more than most, uh, more usage, and uh, through other media as well. I know Aaron sometimes cover or uh, highlights watchdog stories in his uh, show and things like that. <laughs> Their job is to get information out there, but not with the agenda that MPI has. We're MPI, we're clear about our agenda. We want to influence people. Watchdog is to inform people. And one of the ways that we see the opportunity to inform more people and get them involved in this participatory democracy and this process that we have for self-government is to get more people directly involved in being reporters. And that's bloggers and it's citizen journalists. And so we encourage people to, to give us ideas on stories, but ideally people would be writing stories. And we would provide a venue for those to, be, to, to get out there, uh, a venue for, say, uh, local people who want to go to commission meetings or school board meetings and want to report on that and have an opportunity to discuss those things with their fellow citizens. Watchdog can be a venue for doing that. And again, it's not agenda driven, it's information driven. And uh, as uh, philosophically, and I think again as a participatory democracy, we want more people to be more informed. And whichever direction that goes, it goes. Uh, but it, but more, more information is a good thing. Uh, there's another group that I'm going to briefly mention here uh, that's very concerned or very uh, interested in blogging at a more national level. Uh, we've got Scott Sales in the back there. And Scott, you've got a, uh, an AFP event called Right Online that's become pretty well known. If you want to just take a minute or two and describe that to folks, and then we can get on with it. Well, thanks, Carl. Just real quickly, I have some brochures back here. They're just sitting, actually, they're just a flyer, not a brochure. And Americans for Prosperity, which is a uh, grassroots organization of uh, citizen uh, advocates to advocate likewise uh, for uh, limited government and free enterprise system. Um, this event is on the 17th and 18th. It's in Minneapolis. It's going to be a, uh, an event that's going to cover a lot of the same type of uh, material that you're going to hear about today. Uh, it has a lot of great speakers at it, as well as uh, information on social networking, blogging, investigative research, and training. So if you have more interest after today in what you hear, We'd love to have you consider maybe attending this event in Minneapolis. That's the idea. We want more people out there looking for more information. You're going to get some tools today to do that better. Again, as Phil said or Michael said, there's a lot of information out there, but it's very difficult to get at sometimes. Uh, and so we want to give you some tools to do that. And then we want you to put that information out there for your fellow citizens to see and make up their own minds, whether you're on the left or whether you're on the right. I got to say, I'm usually I'm, I'm used to having people to the left of me, but not quite this many. I'm not sure what that's all about. <laughs> but whether you're on the left or whether you're on the right, uh, we want you to put information out there that people can have a civil discussion, base a civil discussion on that, and we're going to disagree on a lot of things. But the more, if we can raise that level and get to the nuggets of what we really disagree on, that'll that'll result in a better outcome for everybody. I think even if we don't all agree on on the exact outcome. 
So that's all I would do is uh, encourage you to take notes, pay attention, get with these guys afterwards. You've got some great resources here to get more information on how to do this. And then uh, hopefully we'll be, uh, if you want to get involved in the citizen journalism piece, we'll be expanding that role and that capability as well. And I would encourage you to get involved in that as well. Thanks a lot for coming and uh, enjoy the day.